Nike has created the first ever self-lacing basketball sneaker. Let's take a look. This is the Nike Adapt BB. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button in the description below and stay tuned for more unboxings from Sneaker News. The first thing that stood out to us about this package is the crazy box that it comes in. So first things first, obviously you got the two shoes here. And then underneath, it comes with a self-charging pad to fire up the shoes and get them ready for use. Then underneath is the charger. Comes in a nice silver package that helps you charge your charging pad. And then under that is the quick start guide with a few instructions to help you use your shoes as efficiently as possible. Nike has always been at the forefront of technological innovation and integration with their products. Starting all the way back in 2006 with the Nike Plus app, Nike began tracking runners' data and helping people using the app have the most efficient workout possible. While that was a little bit more on the software side of things, Nike's first foray into technological hardware of sorts was with the iconic Back to the Future film franchise and Tinker Hatfield's Nike Air Mag design. While that sneaker had one of the more infamous releases of all time and now has a resale value nearing the six-figure mark, in 2016, Nike debuted the HyperAdapt 1.0 for a boisterous 720 US dollars that introduced the world to Nike's EARL technology, which stands for Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing. Nike knew that $720 wasn't really sustainable on the market. I mean, nobody wants to pay that much money for a sneaker, so the introduction of the new Adapt BB with the same EARL technology as the HyperAdapt at a much more palatable $350 is more reasonable and it's engineered for basketball, so it has a purpose outside of its aesthetic appeal. In terms of its design, it has a lot of branding on its lateral side here, which has kind of become a popular trend with Nike as of late. We've seen a lot of sneakers like the React Element 87, the Cortez, bring in a bunch of swooshes rather than just one. So it's got this silver one here, and then another silver one inside this black outrigger here. Aesthetically, it carries a lot of retro Nike design language from Eric Avar. He was one of the key designers in this sneaker. And if you look at it, it looks a lot like one of the sneakers part of Kobe's signature line, which Avar had a heavy hand in. It's got the low cut top that Kobe has pretty much made famous. And it comes with a icy blue outsole that is very popular with Nike with reinforced areas here and here. So back in early January of 2019, we were invited to a Nike New York City HQ event to officially unveil the Adapt BB sneaker. So we got to actually put the shoes on and test them out. And we saw that this sneaker is actually a little bit heavier than most basketball sneakers, but that just has to do with the fact that other than its Kushlon midsole, its mesh upper, it also has those inner mechanism that makes it a self-lacing sneaker, so it's a bit heavier. But with the backing of guys like Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, De'Aaron Fox, and other up-and-coming stars, they have guaranteed that this is a formidable piece of on-court footwear. Its upper is made of, like I said, a woven mesh material, which works really well with its fast fit technology, which was actually debuted on the Jordan 33. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about the technology behind these sneakers, syncing it with the app. First, it comes with a charger in order for you to charge your pad to get it up and ready to go. Then you just place the sneakers on the pad like this and they will begin charging. You can control both the left and right sneakers separately in case you guys have different size feet or anything like that. You like a little bit more pressure on your left or your right. It syncs with these lights down here. In order to increase it, you just swipe up with the left. See, that's the sneaker going. Just like that, it makes a pretty loud noise, but it's recognizable. Then, if you want to loosen the sneaker up a little bit, same thing, just slide it down, just like that. While it's fully integrated with the app on your phone, if you don't happen to have access to your phone or if you're in the middle of a game somewhere you need a quick adjustment, these buttons right here can do the exact same thing that your app does. Finally, one really cool touch, kind of control the way your sneaker looks. Here on the app, you press this button and you can control the colors. And if you see here, it changes the colors of the lights right here. The Adapt BB sneaker officially releases on Nike sneakers and select retailers on February 17th, the Sunday of All-Star Weekend 2019 in Charlotte. Once again, it retails for $350 US dollars. We think that Nike in the future will continue to innovate with their self-lacing sneakers and see them in other sports. Make sure you check out the where to buy store list below. Like and subscribe and tell us what you think of the Adapt BB in the comments. Thanks for watching.